Marjorie here, the nurse and certified health coach of HippyDippyMom.com. Today I wanted to make something that's super fun and super, super, super easy to make. It's one of my favorite DIY projects, but I wanted to share with you just how easy it is. You don't need an exact recipe for this project, and you could really make it any way you like it. You can make it your own. So what we're going to be making today is some sugar scrub. So it's one of those kind of luxury items um, that you could easily spend a good amount of money on if you were to buy it at the grocery store. But like I said, it is so super easy to make it. So what you're going to need is a glass jar to put it in. Get some natural or organic, um, just white sugar. You could also get brown sugar if you kind of want to make a brown sugar scrub. Um, some kind of oil. I use almond oil. You could use coconut oil, jojoba oil, um, anything like that. You want some vitamin E oil. Vitamin E is awesome for the skin, but it's also a natural preservative. And then I always like to add some Epsom salt to my sugar scrubs. Today I'm also going to be adding some magnesium oil. Now this is optional. Um, for me, I know that most people are deficient in magnesium, so any way that we can get it in is awesome. But again, optional, you don't need it. So again, like I said, there is no exact science to this. There is no exact recipe. You can make it however you prefer. So what I like to do is pour the sugar into the container that we're going to be using first um, to kind of measure it that way. And I like to fill it about um, halfway to like three quarters of the way full. And then I pour it into a separate container to mix it. Because if you try to mix it in this container, it's going to get messy. This sugar is kind of chunky and stuck together, so I'm going to break it up. Okay. Now I'm going to add the Epsom salt. So with the Epsom salt, it makes the scrub a little bit coarser, so it's a great exfoliator. And then there's also awesome health benefits to Epsom salt. So again, you can get your magnesium um, through Epsom salt. So it's a great thing to put in your bath, sugar scrubs. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in here. So this is where you can really start to customize it. If you want a coarser sugar scrub, then put more Epsom salt in there. If you just want a really gentle sugar scrub, then leave it out or put just a small amount. So that is our sugar and our Epsom salt. Now you're gonna wanna get your oil, your main oil, almond oil, coconut, or jojoba. And you really just add enough to the sugar and the Epsom salt to make it look like wet sand. So where it's kind of clumping, it could stick together, but it's not like oozing oil. And then you mix that up just to make sure, it, <clears throat> excuse me, it is a good consistency. I'm gonna add a little bit more. And I'll show you of the consistency we're looking for with the oil. So you want to make sure, let's see, I got it all over my hand. You want to make sure that it can just clump, that it can kind of, you know, form. What is it? Can you see? So it's kind of clumpy. You could add a little bit more oil to that. And then just a little squirt of the vitamin E oil. Not a whole bunch 
of vitamin E. Then mix that in. Grab a towel. For the magnesium oil, I'm just going to do a couple drops. I don't want to get crazy with it. Now the fun part, the essential oils. Um, so this too is where you can really customize it. There's so many different ways that you can make sugar scrub. Um, of course you can find tons and tons and tons of recipes on Pinterest, tons of ideas on Pinterest so you can follow. I have a DIY board on Pinterest and I'll link to that below. Um, so for example, at Christmas time, I like to make peppermint sugar scrub, and then you can even use some red sprinkles, like the baking sprinkles, and add that in, make it look kind of like a candy cane. Um, you could do just a good old fashioned lavender sugar scrub, and make it even just a little bit more fancy if you can find some dried lavender, um, little buds, you can throw that in there, makes it look super cool. Today I'm going to be making a citrusy um, sugar scrub. This is great to use first thing in the morning, maybe your morning shower. Um, citrus is known to energize and perk us up, invigorate us, so just the perfect thing to use in the morning. I'm going to be using both lemon and grapefruit essential oil. And this is my preferred brand of essential oils because they do up to eight different kinds of third-party testing, which is the number one most important thing to look for when you're searching for an essential oil brand. You have to know that they're doing third-party testing. That way it's a company that won't lie about the testing. Um, and then they need to be able to show you the results. So I also created a video here on YouTube um, just all about how to use essential oils safely and effectively. I'll link to that as well. So just add, maybe start out with like 10 drops of essential oils. And then if that is not strong enough for you, then add more. Since this is a citrus one, I could even get a little more fancy with that and zest some lemon peel and add that in. It's super, super easy. Another reason why we like to DIY this kind of stuff is because, like I mentioned earlier, you can pay a small fortune for this kind of thing from a grocery store or, you know, a skincare store. Um, but the really bad thing is that most of the products that you can buy are loaded with chemicals. And we know that what we put on our skin ends up getting into our bloodstream because our skin is our largest organ. So with all this stuff here, I know it is natural. I know it is, you know, non-GMO. There's no pesticides. There's no synthetic fragrance. So super important. I wish you could smell this. It smells so good. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. You can make lip scrubs this way. Um, I give sugar scrub every single year for Mother's Day, for Christmas, for birthdays. It is so fun to make and so easy. You could even have like a girls night where it's kind of a spa night and you make your own sugar scrub and then you get to use it. And combination of the sugar and Epsom salt scrubbing away the dead skin cells plus the benefits of these great oils just leaves your skin so, so soft. So that is it for today. Once you mix it in the bowl, then you put it in your container, make sure it's glass, no plastic. And this is our lovely, lovely sugar scrub. That is it. See you in the next video.